Okay, this is just a demonstration of just how very bored I get at home when I'm on holidays from uni. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Okay, so basically, what have I done in my holidays? Oh, first of all, plug for Thirsty Merc, fantastic band. Go check them out if you get the chance. Yo. Um, what have I done in my holidays? Well, basically, I've been working on a checkout, as I mentioned in the last video, um, at Big W. If you follow me on Daily Booth, dailybooth.com slash noni underscore doll. I'll put something in the sidebar, which I believe is that way. <laughs> I win. Um, yes, then you will know that um, I'm actually working at Big W, which is a very big department store chain here in Australia who are part of um, our Woolworths. I don't know if there are any connection to the UK Woolworths, but if they are, all the better for it. Um, you may have also noticed I'm drinking Milo, which is, um, I do know that, that, um, Edis, who I mentioned last time, I'm giving you two shout outs in two videos. Oh my God. Do you not love me right now? Um, he's a big fan of tea. I'm a big fan of Milo. Three spoons of Milo, two and a bit spoons of sugar. You can't beat it. It's absolutely amazing. And my cup says, a good friend will always buy you chocolate in times of crisis. I'm a good friend. You may have noticed, I have got a nice little uh, <laughs> contraption on my wrist. Reason being because um, ever since I was a kid, I've had this thing where my wrist gets really sore. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, I sprained it a couple of times when I was a kid, fell down some stairs, tripped over a skipping rope, ran into another girl um, while doing running exercise is bad for you um and sprained it a couple of times so i think that might be the reason but um for that reason i'm very good at doing handstands or cartwheels it's a bit of a loss but um yeah it's been quite sore the last couple of days so i whacked the wrist guard on it uh which should make things much better but the problem is that makes things like typing very difficult also makes uh piano playing very difficult which is a pain in the bum when you like to do that in your spare time. No, that doesn't deserve a thumbs up. Let's be honest. Uh, what else have I been doing? I have been doing this. Study, believe it or not. It's, I know, what the hell is going on in my head to make me study? I don't know. But um, I'm very behind in my readings for all my subjects, so I'm trying to catch up on them making notes. See? Well, he can't see it because the light's shit, but... That's where the point stands. I got my two assignments in, which is great. I may have noted that, noted that in the last video, but I did happen to have two assignments which were due um, on the same day, which is the last day of term. And that resulted in two nearly all, no, three nearly all-nighters. God, no wonder I was so buggered. Um, which was followed by a test on the day that those were all due. So... I was absolutely rooted, as we say, uh, which means tired. Don't go and take that in any other context because that's just wrong, all right? Thanks. So that's been my holidays, um, pretty much, except I have managed to catch up with a few of my friends. Um, I had coffee with a couple of friends, Miranda, Heather and Alison, on Wednesday, which was absolutely marvellous. So good to have just a nice bit of downtime. And uh, yesterday I had coffee with uh, a, uh, one, of, one of my good friends, who was also my debating and English and drama teacher at high school, uh, Lauren Ward, who's lovely. Heart her immensely. Um, and I'm possibly going to see the boat that rocked with my friend Nicola this evening. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's been great catching up with people and I am so excited. I am so excited about this. Um, if you know anything about Monty Python, you may know about Spamalot, the musical. Uh, my sister's going to be in the New South Wales premiere, which I think is very Monty Python-esque in itself. Um, <laughs> it's the first time in the state. Uh, <laughs> couldn't quite get national, but, you know, next best thing. So they're going to be doing that in a couple, next week. And I'm so excited, not because, not just because my sister's going to be in it, She's only got a minor part, but she's very excited. But my friends Sam and Lauren and possibly Rain are coming up to Dubbo to see me from Bathurst. I am so excited. So excited. 
But chances are all of that will have happened by the time I post this because I'm at home and our internet, while it's quite fast, uh, I don't we don't actually have the downloads for me to be able to upload this <laughs> or even my podcast. So everything is being delayed that little bit more because um, we just can't afford more downloads. Hooray for economic downturn. Now I'm going to do a nice little plug for a couple of um, bands who I have been loving immensely. I'm actually going to be coming back to Dubbo after I go back to uni. I'll be coming back here on the 8th. Not that any of you will care. But I'll be coming back here on the 8th uh, because one of my favourite bands, The Trivs, who are from Dubbo but are now based in Canberra, they're coming back here and they're probably going to have a couple of copies of their special EP, For Your Health. I'm going to put a link to their MySpace in the sidebar. Look at me. I've got this all worked out. I'm so clever. Um, and I'm also going to recommend to you a bloke called Andy Bull. Okay. Uh, he is from Sydney and uh, he's got a very high voice. Hmm, interesting. Uh, and he uh, is, is sort of piano pop, which I'm sure you're going to enjoy, especially if you're a fan of Elton John. Um, the Whitlam's, if you enjoy Ben Folds, you're probably going to like this guy. Um, very interesting sort of stuff that he's putting out. His song Small Town Girl is very, very good. And uh, you can go and listen to stuff on his MySpace, which, of course, I will put in the sidebar because I'm clever like that. Oh, so I hope you are all having a magnificent time. Those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, I hope you're gearing up for summer holidayness if that's coming your way. And I hope you're all happy, healthy and well and having yourself a phantasmagorical time. Until next we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand and never hold his fist too tight.